Hello Virgo, and welcome to your Weekend Guidance Tarot Reading. This message will be for August 10th through the 11th, and we'll have an intention for this weekend. If you find the message resonates, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome here. I offer monthly, weekly, and weekend guidance messages on a consistent basis. I also sometimes do dailies. So let's get started, Virgo. Also, these messages are general. They're not going to resonate every time with everyone. You're more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart. So... So, 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 Virgo. Virgo. Thinker. What are you thinking about? Contemplating. Analyzing. <clears throat> okay. A deep weekend. We're going to have a deep weekend this weekend, Virgo. Okay. Well, that's okay. Thinker is trying to have a strategy, trying to come up with a plan. Okay. Planning, um, analyzing, um, regeneration is second chance, new opportunities. Okay. I get the sense, Virgo, that you're thinking about somebody from your past. Um, and I feel like you're kind of in deep thought about this, kind of, you know, just trying to go over the details, honestly not even really making a plan. I just feel like you're ruminating <clears throat> over something that happened. Maybe how something ended, how something went down. And it kind of has you I'm feeling kind of like a hanged man energy, like trying to change your perspective on this, trying to move forward, but you just can't. Just still thinking about this past situation. So, so we wait. Let's see what the tarot has to say about this. What does Virgo need to see, Spirit, for August 10th through the 11th? The Two of Cups is present, but understand that this is the past. It's in the past position. I really feel like there's been a lot of drama in a scenario, okay? And I feel like at one point with this person, it was really good times. You know, you guys had all, what seemed to be a spiritual union, right? The Two of Cups signifies soulmate connection, spiritual union energy. But I feel like, Virgo, there was something that happened, okay? Some ending that took place where you maybe felt like you were getting breadcrumbs. You had to compete with another person's energy, another person's time. 
and I feel like there was a battle and you lost. I feel like you probably went hard for this person and they kind of just pushed you off to the side. I do get the sense that you are still tied to this energy. You're still feeling you're still feeling tied to this person and I feel like that's why Thinker and Regeneration, um, those Oracle cards came out because you're try you're really trying to figure out how to move forward from this. You're really contemplating, you know, understand Virgo that how this person treated you um, it has nothing to do with you okay the person the other person wasn't better by any means I feel like everything that went on including the drama had to do with feeding this person's ego Okay. I feel like they created this battle between you and this other person, this competition, because it it kind of pumped them up, pumped up their ego, boosted their, I mean, how would it make you feel if two people were fighting over you? I mean, you would, wouldn't want that, but you're going to be like, dang, am I that good? So I do get the sense that they wanted this. They wanted to, they wanted this competition to continue. And I feel like by choosing this other person, they were trying to hurt you purposefully, okay? I feel like it was kind of more of a revenge tip, honestly. So, I don't by any means feel like they're going to be with that person. They may temporarily to try to hurt you, but I feel like what you need to do, Virgo, is focus on yourself, okay? We have the Sun card here as the overall energy from the Fairy Tarot. I do get the sense that and another thing is most of the cards that came out were Major Arcana. So, make a plan. It's time to really sit down. You're already ruminating over this past situation. It sucks. Any drama that everybody, anybody goes through never feels good your feelings are valid your sadness is valid it's part of the process <clears throat> in the moments of clarity Virgo you need to try to make this plan because your plans are going to work out perfectly so how you're gonna make this plan is review the past details but review the past details more practically, more realistic. Don't try to sugarcoat. Don't try to look at things more positively. Screw all that nonsense. Look at things realistically, okay? Yeah, you guys had good times. You guys did have a lot of positive things that happened. But in the most recent past, there's been a lot of disrespect. There's been a lot of manipulation. There's been a lot of deceit. And once you sit at a table where those behaviors are being served, this person is going to think that you're going to now accept those behaviors. So if you want to, 
even if you guys were going to be together and you guys have the soulmate connection, twin flame connection, all this stuff that um, certain people believe in, which is perfectly fine. Even if you guys come back together, okay, there's still this sense that you need to disconnect and stand your ground and express to this person, I'm, and you have to show, like, I'm willing to walk away if respect isn't going to be served here, okay? But in order to stand your ground, Virgo, you have to go through the motions. So review these past details practically and honestly. Understanding that this does have a purpose within your life, okay? This ending does have a purpose. This person had a purpose within your life regardless if they never come back. They still meant something at one point. Those memories aren't going anywhere, but now you have to think about the present, okay? Look forward to the future and make a plan, okay? What, how am I going to move forward from this person? What steps am I going to take? What do I need to focus on? I do get the sense that you are going in the right direction and everything is going to work out. There is going to be a balance brought back into the situation. What I do see for you, Virgo, is you have a bright future ahead of you. And I know that it sucks that you've gone through some difficult times. But understand that those difficult times have a purpose as well. It's time to move forward from that. Take your power back. <clears throat> Stand your ground. Understand that... If your boundaries are crossed, you have to un you have to be willing to let things go if they're not going to respect your boundaries, if they're not going to have respect for you. It's the only way that you're going to want to be around somebody because you might be able to take disrespect one or two times, but after it adds up for so many times, for so many years, it's going to equal resentment. And it's not going to be pretty. These feelings, these negative emotions need processed as well as the positive ones. That's why all the positive... Look, it's idealistic. Everybody always wants it, it wants to be positive, but it's not realistic, okay? You have to have negative emotions to enjoy the positive ones. I do get the feeling that you're coming to an understanding of this. Here we have it. Life review. Take an inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. That includes getting closure from past situations, making amends, healing, Prioritize. Focus on your highest priorities. It will help you get organized and motivated. Focus on what needs to get done first. What needs to get done first and then what do you want to get done and move forward from there. Everything is looking up. Everything is turning around. There will be balance brought back into your life. Process. Grieving is a process. So that is the message I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.